Okay, so hello. Sorry for the slight delay. Again, once again, we had slight technical difficulties. We weren't able to connect to the Wi-Fi, but it's uh, somehow managed to work now. And don't worry, you'll have uh, an awesome, uh, awesome ability to win uh, prizes. So I hope that your waiting will be worth it. But before that, before the quiz, I'd really like to have a special announcement, and I'd really like to uh, thank all of the awesome volunteers, most of which are now currently on your left side, which. Uh, helped this PyCon happen. Without them, this PyCon wouldn't be able to be organized to function as well as it functioned. And without them, you couldn't be sitting here without uh, larger problems. And because there's quite a lot of them, not only those which are here, but also a few which already had to go home or will return tomorrow or will come tomorrow to help us pack hold of the conference, I won't be going uh, through every each one's name, but most of them are here on this photo. Some of them are here and some of them will be here tomorrow or were here yesterday. The core team were four people, two of which, uh, Elka and Nika, organized the educational summit, which was happening in the uh, spy room and uh, in the work workshop room across the Titans room. And me and Richard were responsible for the conference as a whole for, uh, for the rest, everything, uh, everything rest from the educational summit. And those are also a few special people which we would really like to thank. First of all, it's our lovely photograph, uh, which came uh, to us. <laughs> and as he's a photograph, uh, unfortunately, you don't have any photos of him from the conference. Uh, but you can find his photos all around this place, uh, either on the conference website in a few days or on our Facebook already on, and other social media. And uh, we have also sent some of the photos to our partners already, so maybe on their websites as well. Uh, another special group which I'd really like to thank is our HV group sitting in that room there and here in front of the, or behind the camera and also the ones who were sitting in the next room. Uh, they had to, had to fix a lot of problems which happened and um, the, the problems weren't their fault and they somehow managed to, um, managed to solve them. So re really a big thanks for them. So another round of applause, please. And a special thanks also to two people who aren't directly in the volunteers organizing uh, group, uh, but thanks to them, uh, we have awesome, awesome designs. Uh, it's Marek Brukati, thanks to whom you have these lovely lanyards and the program and all the sponsors and the map and everything which you can see is thanks to Marek Brukati's work and Yurai, whose work uh, you've seen before and after the talks with, with, our, with the lovely graphics which happened in between, in between each talks. And there's also one uh, special thanks which I personally would like to give. And it's to my wife who has endured me organizing this conference and not being able to be with her in the evenings because I was sitting behind emails and organizing this after my usual work as a volunteering activity. So a big thanks for her and I'm gonna give this to her. And of course, uh, it's not, it wasn't only me who was working, she was also working really hard as well. Uh, so, so don't confuse it that she was only uh, somewhere on the sidelines, she was also helping me all the time. And you've seen her running around as the rest of the volunteers as well. And now to the interesting part for you where you can win prizes. So here you don't have to enter any money, you can just earn really awesome prizes. Uh, during uh, after the quiz starts, uh, we put, we will put all of the uh, all of the prizes here on the front of the desk, and uh, you'll you'll be able to pick your prize. We don't have a set a special uh, special. Uh, uh, we don't have uh, dedicated which is the first prize, which is the second prize. We will just all put all of the prizes here on the front desk and you can pick whichever you choose, whichever you want. And I'll just have now a brief recap of what everything is here to be offered. 
So first of all, there's going to be quite a lot of books from our two sponsors, Pact and O'Reilly. Then there'll be uh, speakers from Bloomreach, a bunch of uh, uh, subscriptions from JetBrains. So if you are using PyCharm, definitely this is a really good thing because PyCharm is one of the best uh, Python editors. Uh, then we have from Swissra a bunch of uh, other things, including a power bank and a keep cup. Atacama has always also provided a, a power bank and a speaker, Bluetooth speaker. Uh, Exeta has uh, provided uh, a few things, so uh, um, uh, those are also speakers, a wireless mouse, a wireless keyboard, and uh, and a few other things, a power bank which you can't see on the photos because there's quite a bunch of it. And there's this one special thing. Can you guess which sponsor donated these prizes? Professia. Yeah, it's LMC slash Professia, exactly. And now uh, to the contest itself, it's going to be via the app Kahoot. And in just a moment, we'll show you the exact link where you can connect. And my colleague will moderate the contest itself. Okay, so now please uh, head to kahoot.it and enter the pin which you can see on the top. Or you can use a QR code. code. Okay. There is also one special book from Mira Shedivi. Yesterday donated because nobody picked it uh, after his uh, talk. So. Uh, yeah, no, let's don't forget about him <laughs> and his generous gift as well. So, for I'm not sure if uh, everyone is aware how Kahoot works. Uh, let me briefly explain uh, while we wait for everybody to log in. If you go to kahoot.it, you can enter a PIN. You can log in, enter your name. And afterwards, once I start the quiz, uh, you will uh, see the question on the screen. And you press on your mobile phone the correct answer. Whoever uh, has the most points, uh, is the first one and can pick first prize, then the second, and so and so and so. Uh, yep, that's basically it. So I see several people are still logging, so let's wait a couple of seconds more and then we start. Okay, so uh, people are leaving, so I, I should start probably. <laughs> yeah. So, when was the first Python release? You can select one of uh, the answers. It's uh, one of the colors. You have only 20 seconds. Uh, so, then you can, okay, we have, all right, so the correct answer is 1991. Uh, in 1989, it was uh, announced, but uh, according to Wikipedia, you can verify if you don't trust me, the first release was in 1991. Okay, so Mira Hronchok. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go for the second question. When did the Guido van Rossum step down from the Beneforen dictator for life position? So for those, uh, BDFL means benevolent dictator for life, and Guido was 
the dictator, but he stepped down. So what was the year when he did that? Okay, it was uh, 2018, so 22 people guessed it correctly. Oh, Mira Hunchuk. <laughs> yeah, so Palaik. Palaik is leading the way. Okay, how many people are in the steering council, Python steering council? Python Steering Council was, is uh, essentially successor of uh, the Benevolent Dictator for Life and its uh, core developers uh, are in the Python Steering Council and it's elected with, uh, I think, every, uh, every version. So, yeah, there, yeah, there is a five people in there, so almost, most of you got it, but... Okay, so let's see the scoreboard. All right, so Palaig is still first. We'll see how it goes later. Where is the Python source code hosted? Since you know that the Python is open source, it has to be hosted somewhere that it's accessible for the people. And uh, recently, uh, I believe it uh, has uh, moved and it has moved to the GitHub. So, yeah, you can find the source on GitHub. Okay, so see, Cheuk is leading and Palaik is the second, so we will... Pr oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, my bad. So, what is the latest Python free release? So yeah, most of you got it. It's uh, 3.10.7. <laughs> All right. So Palaik is returning to the lead. Uh, what signifies the end of the statement block or the suit in Python? Yeah, some of the questions will be technical, but uh, some of them won't, so yeah. We will test all your all kind of skills. <laughs> all right, so that that seems to be easy one. Most of you got it correctly. All right, so let's continue. It's true or false question. Uh, in Python, very okay. In Python, variable must be declared before it's assigned a value. So is it true or is it false? All right, so free parallels have a streak. All questions, right? Yeah, we'll see. So which of the following styles does uh, PEP8 recommend for multi-world variables? So if you have a variable that uh, contains multiple words, what is recommended according to PEP8? Right, yeah, it's a snake case, obviously. <laughs> okay, so we still have one leader. Let's continue. Which of the following are valid uh, Python variable names? Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention at the beginning, usually there is one correct answer, but there are probably two questions that they have multiple, so. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, what Python building function returns the unique ID number assigned to an object? So, what... Uh, Let's say you have variable A, you assign five to it, and you assign variable A to be what function will identify that uh, it's the same thing.
Okay, it was die D. So yeah, most of you know, knew the answer. I think we have one person who is really good, and there is, uh, okay. Which of the following are true of the Python dictionaries? So, uh, Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this was the question that had uh, multiple correct answers. So, yeah, but most of you knew, so. Which of the following is not Python built-in function? So, so uh, which of these? you would have to implement by yourself, if you wanna call it. <laughs> All right, so most of you. Okay, so which of the following are true for the objects of Python set, set type? Okay, so yeah, oh, this was also a uh, multi-correct multi answer. So, okay, uh, we see at least it's uh, changing a little bit. Uh, how are lambda functions useful? Select all that apply. I gave 30 seconds for this question because uh, there is a lot of reading. Uh, Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, most of you got it right. So it's true or false question. Uh, the Python interpreter takes the code you write and converts it to the language that your computer's hardware understands. Is it true or false? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought it this one would be easy, but uh, I guess it wasn't. <laughs> so, uh, the technical questions are over. Now let's go to more guessing one. When was the first PyCon SK? So, this is the question for uh, people who attend uh, frequently have easy, easier the answer, and those of you who are here for the first time, you have to guess. So, uh, yeah. Yes, oh, okay. <laughs> most, of you, uh, most of you knew or guessed correctly, so yeah. Oh, Miro is start leading, so it's gonna be interesting at the end. <laughs> so what was the color of the attendee t-shirts at the PyCon 2016? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, it was white, white. Uh, we have a lot of grays, but it was later on, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, how many speakers were at the first PyCon? Okay, so it was uh, 26. 
okay, the scoreboard is changing at least a little. So, how long is the lightning talk? We have them yesterday, and they will be, so that this is gonna be probably easy question. Mm -hmm. We should have probably 10 seconds on this one. Yeah, so, ah, there is a one person in the room who wasn't paying attention yesterday. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what is the name of the cable wrapping method we, s we saw yesterday at the lightning talks? Yesterday there was a guy here throwing cables and he showed us cable wrapping method. So what's the name? <laughs> Let's test uh, if you were paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, over and under. Yeah, most of you were paying attention. So which is the next planned PyCon in Europe? So obviously you know there are a lot of PyCons around Europe and uh, uh, there is... The <laughs> Yeah, so it's Py PyCon you can, PyCon Estonia already was, and PyCon in España and PL will be uh, later on in the future. UK should be next week, if, if it's not gonna be canceled, but, okay. <laughs> uh, when was the first EduTrack at PyCon? As you might know, we have EduTrack uh, focusing on teachers, uh, and it was, uh, it, is, it is part of the PyCon SK, so when, we, when did we start with this uh, good tradition? Uh, you have uh, several choices, so you can, you can guess. Okay, so yeah, 2017, it was one, one year later than the original PyCon. Okay, it's changing. So, how many teachers attend our teaching with hardware courses that we did uh, last school year? So, uh, uh, during the school year, we have, uh, we have uh, special, uh, special courses for uh, teachers, how to teach with hardware, with microbits. And uh, I want you to guess how many of them attended. Okay, 440, so <laughs> good guess. And last but not least, uh, there will be last questions. How many 3D printed face shields have we donated to the homes for elderly people? You know, during the pandemic, uh, everybody was helping as they could and since we loved technology and we liked 3D printing, we did as most of the 3D printers did and we no donated them, so uh, you can guess <laughs> the number. So it was 1,000 shields, so. All right, so FK is the third. You can go to the podium. Miro is the second. And, and uh, Christian is the first. And uh, Petr and Palaik are the next one. So please come downstairs uh, and uh, select from the prizes, whichever you like. Uh, I will find out the scoreboard so uh, the rest of the people could uh, take whatever is left. We will go uh, from the higher score down. And for those of you who have lightning talks, please come here downstairs so you can prepare and uh, uh, yeah, uh, so we can start. že mi to vyhodí ten scoreboard, lebo ja nepoznám ten kahu, tak dobre, aby nám to nezmizlo. Uh, full, full report. No, ok, we, we report. Skúsme to. Ok. Stop. Ok, so... Uh, ok. 
So you can see the scoreboard. Uh, if you see your name, uh, you can go downstairs and uh, pick up the prizes. Oh, it's oh, too sorry. small. Máme ďalšiu stránku. OK, so if you see your name in this page, please come here and pick uh, the prizes. And uh, yeah, so we will do the next page in a, in a minute. Okay, so let's get uh, more results. Okay, so if you see your name here, you can go downstairs and uh, pick your prices. So if you see your name on the screen, you can go down and uh, pick whatever uh, is left. Come on, people, you don't like books or whatever. <laughs> Okay, so this is the last page, uh, and uh, if you see your name, you can go come downstairs and uh, pick the prize. And for the people who are, uh, have signed up for the lightning talks, please come downstairs, and uh, we can uh, start with the lightning talks.
Mikrobit je programovateľný počítač, ktorý ti dovolí prepojiť informatiku s kreativitou. Dá sa programovať veľmi jednoducho a ovládať tak, aby robil presne to, čo chceš. O pár minút sme zvládli rozsvietiť vlastný obrázok na displeji a o chvíľu sme už obrázky diálkovo prepínali druhým mikrobitom. Mikrobit má v sebe aj super vychytávky, ako sú tlačidlá, senzor pohybu, kompas a teplomé. K mikrobitu ale môžeš pripojiť množstvo ďalších vecí. Tu programujeme, aká animácia sa nám má ukázať na LED pásiku. Ja som na ňom naprogramovala dúhu. Teraz programujeme podľa nôd kohútika Jarabeho. Najlepšie na mikrobite je, že si viem vytvoriť napríklad blikajúceho robota alebo gitaru, ktorú ovládam tak, že ňou zatraciem alebo futbalovú bránku, kde mi mikrobit počíta, koľko gólov som dala, alebo kúlové svietiace topánky a tisíc ďalších vecí, ktoré ešte len vymyslím. Mikrobit je hračka, ktorú schováš do dlane a vytvoríš z nej čokoľvek. Tak čo s ňou spravíš ty? Každých 60 sekúnd si 28 tisíc ľudí predplatí službu Netflix. Odošle sa 197 miliónov e-mailov, stiahne sa 414 tisíc aplikácií a ukradne niekoľko tisíc hesiel. Na internete sa toho deje veľa. A všetko najdôležitejšie sa dozviete na Živé SK. Živé SK. Technológie ľudskou rečou.